Hey y'all, I'm Ashley of Ashley Emmons Education and today I'm going to show you how I remove objects in Lightroom in the background of my images. So I don't know about y'all, but when I go to a session, sometimes there's just people or stuff in the background, maybe like a trash can or a cone or something is in the background and I don't want it in my final product. Um, I'm all about simplicity, so I would much rather try and remove all of those objects in Lightroom the best that I can um, instead of bringing them into Photoshop. So today I'm going to bring you into my Lightroom and show you exactly how I do that. All right, so the next tool that I want to talk to you guys about is right up here, and this is going to be our um, spot removal tool. Now, what's really cool about this, is especially since like I shoot a lot at the beach and everything, and you have like all these little people back here, and you've got the stuff on the beach, is it is going to um, clone that out or heal it. So there's two different kinds of brushes. One is clone and one is heal. The clone tool is going to um, replace what you um, have selected with an exact replica of um, another spot on your image. The heal tool is going to be more of a blend. So I want to show you what each of them does. Um, so we're going to start with the heel. I honestly work mostly with the heel, then I do the clone. Um, I can use two fingers on my mouse pad um, on my Mac, and I can make it bigger or smaller. And I am going to make sure that the inner circle is covering what I want to take out. So I'm going to click on that and Lightroom is automatically going to put a spot where it thinks it should be replaced. So I can move this spot around. So if I feel like it needs to look more like this, like you can kind of see how the heel tool um, will take the texture of it, but it still like makes it the same color that it is. If I use the clone tool, it's going to give an exact replica. So it's going to show the exact same color. Um, if I want to like um, come down here or you know anything along those lines. So because I shot with an aperture of 2.8, which shows me right here, so my f stops 2.8, behind is going to be a little bit more out of focus than it is going to be like right here on the same plane as them. So I don't wanna choose something that's way back here because what's gonna happen is if I, um, it's going to like look a little bit not as like um, in focus as the sand around it. So you want to make sure you keep it on the same plane um, and just kind of like pay attention to those little details because it is going to um, make your image just uh, go from again looking great to amazing. And then I'm going to go ahead and done. So that spot is gone. And then I am going to um, go ahead and take care of these little people up here. Again, I am just going to move my um, heel tool and I'm going to make sure that um, circle is right around the people I want out and it's going to show an area where it thinks that I should. I'm going to move it over just a tad and I am going to do that. So now that the people are gone and the little spot on the beach is gone, I could go in and do it for all of these little things over here. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. So that is how I use the spot removal tool. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want any more tips and tricks to help you and your family photography business, I do go live in my Facebook group every Thursday, so make sure you join us there or subscribe to my YouTube channel. I put out a new video every Monday. I'll see you guys later.